Hey everybody, I am dealing with an invasion. Come on and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Well, hey everybody, Jeff here with Project Next One and welcome back to the channel and thanks so much for tuning in. As I said, I am dealing with an invasion right now and what I'm talking about is dealing with my yard and uh, this started in late June. Uh, I think this year the reason it is as bad as it is is we have had a lot of rain this year. Uh, we have just been in a cycle uh, with afternoon thunderstorms and we've just been getting inch after inch of rain. And so what I'm dealing with is crabgrass. It is just taking over my yard. And let me show you what I'm talking about. This right here is the craziest grass. I call it summer wild grass, but I, that's not the real name for it. Um, this right here will come up late July and it'll really attack and get thickened up and just go crazy through August. And this right here, it is thick, it's full of moisture, and when you try to mow it, it just clogs up and makes the biggest mess and it just chokes out everything else. Um, anyway, um, it will stay until it hit, gets the first frost hit on it and then it is just amazing after the frost hits it this just goes away and it's like it was never there I've never seen anything to beat this stuff but anyway if I had been doing my job like I should have been um, I would have taken care of this with doing good pre-emergence but this year work schedule got crazy during February when this the pre-emergence needed to go down and I just didn't have time to get that part taken care of so now I'm gonna have to deal with this with post-emergence and I know maybe a lot of you think well if I've only got to deal with it till we get the first frost and that'll be maybe end of September early November why not just deal with, with it within well it is so thick it is so hard to mow it just makes the biggest mess and so there are two products that I'm going to use and this is the first year that I've used these and I want to do a big huge thanks out to Pete with CGI Turf uh, he's a good friend and we go to the same church together he has his own website if you got or not your website his YouTube channel if you want to get a lot of uh, insights on how to grow beautiful tall fescue he is the source to learn from so anyway um, through uh, Pete does a newsletter and uh, through reading and learning that, I have ordered the products and I'm excited to try them. So guys, I'm gonna go get the sprayer put back in the gator and get everything geared up. I'll go through the stuff, I'll show you what I'm using, show you how I'm gonna mix it up. I know the products work, uh, cause Pete's used them for a long time and if it don't work, it means I did something wrong. <laughs> anyway, so guys, let's go get busy. So I'll show you guys, when you put this in, this has, and I'll lift it up so you can see it. And you see that lip that's hanging down? And what you do is you drop it down in between the cracks and this will only go, that's as far forward as it'll go. And so then, let me adjust the camera up so you can see. Then you shut this, so. And then it's essentially, locked into place it has rubber bumpers here so it can't slide back and other than it tipping up and when I put the boom on this will lock it all together let me go grab that and I'll show you that next okay I'm gonna do a little bit closer in for you guys so you can see here Let's see if I can get the camera right in here. Okay, so the way this thing mounts is obviously this slides in. You pull, this is like a big washer. And then what locks it in place is there's a lip on the tailgate. And this washer goes up behind that. And you can see I slid it up. And then I pull this up tight. And then also this spins up tight. And once you attach all of these together, it's basically all locked in around the tailgate and you can see now the tank doesn't move and the boom is in place and then the last thing you do 
is you bring your hose down and this ties in to here this is the main feed for the hoses for the boom and you just spin it up on and tighten it up as so and so now the source comes this is the pump it'll come you here's your valve to turn it either to the one or to the boom today we're going to be doing everything off with the boom and it comes down it feeds here and then we have five nozzles that spray and the boom just swings out like so and like so and this boom is 10 foot and there's five nozzles and I have a 12 foot they, they uh, spray out in a fan beam and I have a 12 foot spray pattern when I'm shooting so anyway that's how fast and easy this is to install okay so I'm now filling my jug um, got just put you just regular water going in and I'm gonna add these chemicals once I get the jug in uh, one of the products I'm gonna be using is Quinclorac 75 DF this is a powder and I will need to put this in and I'm going to be using uh, an agitator and we'll be working to get all that nice and dissolved up this is the reason I'm putting the water in first and then the other product I'm going to be using is Triad Select the Quinclorac is it's one of its biggest functions and the main thing it'll go after is that wild summer grass that I call it's crabgrass and then the triad select it is it takes care of so many different of the weed grasses and so and you can mix these two together and uh, after doing I'm, I'm gonna tell you one of the frustrating things is trying to look through the papers that open up here and trying to figure out the formulas I couldn't make heads or tails uh, the way they do their readings it's just hard to follow and so uh, what I did is I googled it and so what I have found out is that um, one pound mixes almost perfectly into 45 gallons and this is a quart and it mixes almost perfectly into 45 gallons so i'm going to pour both containers into here and that's going to be what we're going to go by okay so a safety note before you deal with any of these chemicals always look at the labeling but this is the way i, I treat it i treat it all as very harmful if you were to accidentally get it in your eyes accidentally ingest it or even get it on your skin so anytime it, it, this is just my humble opinion treat them all as if they're terrible to touch or smell so you don't want to get these into your lungs so you don't want to ever spray when the wind's blowing and it could blow the mist back up on your face um, you always use gloves that's just my personal take uh, when you get done make sure you wash up good and just do everything you can to keep the stuff from getting on your skin so anyway just abundance of caution So guys, fast forward about two or three, I think this is day three. 
So fast forward three days from where we just popped off on the video and I was spraying and putting down the chemical. Now I want to show you two different areas uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So if you look here, this is a section that is just in, again, I call it the invasion. This is that crazy growing crabgrass that has just taken over. And I did not spray this section. Um, well, I, I'm, again, I'm experimenting and trying a new product. So uh, I did the front yard, uh, but I did not do this section. So you can see uh, we've obviously got more rain. Um, this wild grass is just completely taken over this area and you can see it's just as green and growing like crazy and it is so thick and it just holds the moisture so now let's swing over to here uh, and this is of course i did the whole front yard and if you can look and see you can see this grass it is turning yellow it is turning brown but it is not affecting the fescue in fact you can see the dark green patches of the fescue and then right beside it these areas that are so thick and let me come up here let's see like right here you can just see where this is turning brown and it is dying out and it's only affecting this grass so that product works exactly as it says it's it's supposed to and this is just three days in so uh, I'm well on the way if you look across the yard you'll see lots of areas that are getting kind of yellowish and areas that are brown but yet you still see the green fescue so uh, we're gonna let this product just keep uh, keep doing its thing and just keep working it's a slow process they say and uh, we'll just let this continue on dying out and then here uh, when we hit into September uh, we will obviously do the fall feeding, uh, do the core plug aerating, uh, the fe uh, fertilizing again, and get ready for the, this to just be beautiful this fall. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to uh, show you that update uh, and see how the product does work and it works great in fact let me show you over here one other area i did do this one side and you can see how this is all turning brown as well but again it's not killing out the fescue which is exactly what we want so anyway guys hope you guys are enjoying the video again um remember here project next one there is always one more and again i try to post up a couple of videos a week uh boy it's been challenging here lately been just so busy with work uh, and it, I hate when work gets in the way, right? But anyway, guys, uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, again, if you will, uh, be sure to hit that uh, subscribe and be sure to hit the notifier uh, so you see when the new videos pop up. So guys, for now, we're going to keep watching this get brown in some areas and the pretty green fescue coming up in others. And uh, I will get more videos coming soon. Guys, take care, stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.